Hey everybody, this is going to be a new type of uh, series I'm going to start doing. It's basically me writing an F from the beginning all the way to the end without any cutting or processing of the video. So you're going to find out exactly what it takes to build something from the start all the way to the end. So today we're going to build a website with a, a sidebar that's sticky. Basically, the sidebar will follow you and sticky some things as you scroll down. Um, all of this inside with React, basically. So to start, we're going to uh, use the Create React app, and we'll uh, we'll use this Create React app to create a new project. Let's call this Sticky Sidebar. So the reason um, I'm creating this project is to because recently I built something at work that uh, it needed this as a requirement. So I figure I want to share with you what I found out and you know maybe down the line when you need to build this thing it will be useful. So I'm going to let uh, Create React App set up a project. Uh, if you don't know what that is you can see one of my tutorials. I'll link it in the description below where I give you a overview of create, what a Create React App is. And it will have a tutorial along with uh, full source code. So I highly recommend you check it out if you don't know what it is. And for those of you who know what that is, um, you can go straight right in and we're going to basically set up uh, React Bootstrap along with uh, the Create React app. And then with this, we can create a basic grid layout. After that, we can start uh, experimenting with this sticky sidebar. So I'm going to show you the modules that I use to make this possible and some nice um, tips and tricks that I learned along the way. So hopefully you come along for this journey. Obviously this video is going to be a bit longer than usual, but I'm going to break it up to different parts so you can uh, stop playing, you know, you, can, you don't have to watch it all in one go. So we finished installing the Create React app, and let's go to the sticky sidebar application directory and then do npm start to just to test to make sure that our uh, script is working. So um, we have the source code should be in here. If I refresh uh, sticky sidebar, there it is. So this is the base project directory. And we're just going to give it a few seconds for the app to start. Um, we are going to basically not going to mess with a lot of things. We're just going to work directly from the app components. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I do need to modify the CSS a little bit the, to make sure that um, it contains the, the, uh, the bootstrap components and the CSS that one we're going to install later. So while the application takes a bit to start, I might as well just um, have this text here ready so we can prepare to install um, Bootstrap. So there's a components for React that's a port of all the Bootstrap project and basically made everything inside Bootstrap a React components. So to install that, you have to go into the project folder and then do npm install react bootstrap and then save it so I want to make sure that the app okay and would you like to wrap in another port instead huh okay so apparently this port is used sure I want to it's probably my other uh, project that's running right now so yeah so the port will be 3001 okay so our app is working and that's good. Uh, I'm going to pause the app, Control C, and then I'm going to install React Bootstrap. Um, this will install React Bootstrap, and then I'm going to also install uh, Bootstrap 3 to our project, so we can get the uh, CSS for our projects. The most, uh, mostly, the thing that I need from the CSS is the the um, the grid components. So we're going to npm install bootstrap at 3 and save it. So this will install the bootstrap components. 
So while that's installing, um, the, we're going to go into um, the source and index file. This is the entry point for our project. So in, in here, I'm going to import bootstrap list CSS bootstrap dot CSS. So this will import the bootstrap. Uh, okay, so it's installed correctly. And then I'm going to start the server while I code to save some time. I also need to import the bootstrap can spell bootstrap apparently. Distribute CSS bootstrap theme.css. Okay, so now this is like the it's uh, the components that we need for our projects. Great. So uh, what I'm going I need to go to React Bootstrap just to see how they do their layout. Um, I'm going to mostly look for the grid layout components so I can just copy paste basically I want to remind myself how the grid works on the bootstrap project um, does it have anything with grid okay grid system so it's okay this is very simple standard grid system um, except that this is going to be props so I wonder if if I, yeah, let's show code. Okay, so this is great. I'm just going to copy this thing. So my goal here is to, for our application um, start page here, below, like where it says to get started, I want here to be a layout of a content on the left side that takes up eight columns and then a sidebar that takes up four columns. So I am going to put some of okay, it header this the intro. So I think inside the intro I want to copy paste that stuff down here from the bootstrap website. And then make sure I import the components. I think um, I need to make sure the components imported. So I am going to import. I need the grid components, and then I need the column components. From React Bootstrap. Uh, I don't know what code is. I'm probably going to replace this stuff here with uh, blah blah, just so um, the the compiler doesn't throw any error because uh, code is not found. Sorry, that was uh, my phone. Um, you're going to hear a lot of this stuff because this is uh, live coding. I'm not doing anything to edit the videos, and this whole session is one take. So. You are going to see or hear things that are not very well edited. Okay, so we have stuff here. Um, let's just go to the site and then see if it works. Oh, apparently there's some. Oh, sure. Need to make sure. It always asks me the, the port that I want to run it. So I'm going to. Okay, so if it works. Oh, okay. So something is not defined, row is not defined. So I need to import row in here as well. Hopefully that works. Great. Okay, so we have uh, some sort of grid system set up. Um, I'm not going to need three rows. I'm only going to need one. And I want it to be... Just make it simple right now. Two columns, uh, one is eight, one is four. So hopefully with this setting, I should have, all right, perfect. So this is going to be an eight and four. So as you can see, it takes eight columns and then four here. All right, great. 
So I'm going to make a small adjustment just to make it uh, look a bit better. Where it says app intro, I'm going to margin top 25 pixels. This is to give you some spacing on top. Okay, great. So you have content here, and then you have sidebar here. So this is uh, this is great. This is working um, a lot faster than I expected. So this is great. So first of all, we need to um, generate some dummy text. So here, I, in, instead of saying blah blah blah, I wanted to generate a few paragraphs of text just to you know simulate that we have a full page. That's the um, the full length. So to do that, I could just um, so let's go to Lauren Ipsum. So this website, you can get dummy text uh, to put on your website. So you can just go there, copy all this text here to pretend like this is you know your website. 